<laughs> Sorry about that. Um, let's see. Um, I started making steam power stuff back in, I think, 2005-ish. Okay. And um, it came right out of just concept designing um, characters. Actually, let me get him real quick because he wants to be up here. Yeah. Yeah, come here. Okay. Shh. That's better. So um, um, I started working in the video game industry around, I think, 97-ish. And so I've been mostly an animator, but I kind of move on to doing modeling and uh, concept art, uh, designing characters mostly. Anything to do with characters, I was kind of involved in. And as a concept artist, you end up doing a lot of things that you draw. You, you kind of spend a lot of energy kind of thinking about how it might work. And so in order for something to look correct, and it must, to a certain degree, look like, it, like it's an it's a innate reaction when you see something and it's moving correctly like in a movie or something um, you know it has to a lot of thought goes into that so I did so much of that to a point where I thought you know that it actually should work because I thought all the way through and so one of the things I really love is this kind of old steam technology and so you see a lot of fantasy um, sci-fi movies and such where um, you know these fancy machines are kind of walking around and stuff so that's where I started you know, making these things, just kind of hacking together pieces. So a lot of RC uh, pieces and a lot of like toys, I just like grab out the gears from that and then, you know, adapt it to this. So um, let me show you some videos. Let's see. Here somewhere. Oh, got, gotcha. Yeah, it's right there. So here's an example of um, some of the stuff I, I was making. So they're real steam powered. Um, most of them use a propane butane mix and gas and that heats up the boiler and literally, you know, st makes steam from water and that powers, uh, it powers these uh, steam machines. So as you can see there, that's one of the fancy ones. So, you know, I, I kind of hacked together a lot of um, bits and pieces from, from various things to, to make this. So once I started doing these things, um, it got a lot of um, traffic on my <laughs> website. I realized that a lot of um, tech and geeks out there really enjoy this kind of thing. So um, this, is, this is at one of the events. I think this was at... at at Robo Games, so you can you can see it draws a crowd because it's something different, you know, and it actually works. And so, <clears throat> in in doing this, I, and and like they all say, I was in, at the first first and second Maker Fair. I was doing quite a bit of this stuff. Uh, that machine there, you see, is on the table, and you can welcome to come up afterwards and take a look. It's actually powerful enough to kind of drag me around a bit, um, enough to to pull you know pull me on the skateboard. And so I, I, I started from like really simple stuff like just a, a RC or just a car, you know, controlled by or powered by the um, steam going around in a circle up to uh, something more complex like this, which is just, you know, R2-D2 <laughs> uh, steam powered. So there's a, a th this, this, this thing is actually on display uh, in the back in the tinkering studio area. Uh, and, and the gla glass shelves in there. So you can see what it looks like. There's actually a boiler inside. Uh, this is the steam walker. So I brought these things to Robo Games and actually won um, quite, quite a few medals from there. And uh, at Maker Fair, it was well rece received as well. So that's kind of uh, my hobby. I'm, I'm going to kind of skip around a bit. There's actually quite, quite a few machines. Um, there's some other. So I do some, some of the electric robots as well. Um, so here's some movements I kind of program into this robot. I'm just going to skip. Uh, here's a little guy that um, has a lot of personality and it's really simple. This came out of my kind of RC helicopter hobby. It's something that um, I'm into and so I end up with a lot of bits and pieces, a lot of parts 
uh, <laughs> that are just kind of spare parts. If you fly helicopters, you're going to crash many, many times. So you end up with a lot of spare parts. So I just kind of, this was something that I kind of hacked together over the, over the weekend kind of thing. And was actually uh, remarkably simple. <laughs> There's not much to it. You can see it's directly controlled by the transmitter here. Um, different than most robots where it's all command driven and just kind of, you know, a button and then something happens. This is like I'm directly controlling it with uh, the joysticks. Uh, let me see. So you can see better here. So, so that's my um, kind of hobby. Um, wh what what end up happening is that I was um, doing so much of this stuff and kind of hacking things together that about three years ago, I was really lucky uh, to be involved in the Skylanders project. So um, I see a lot of kids here. Do you guys know Skylanders? Yeah. There's, there's a, Skylanders is a, a hybrid between a game and video games, um, I mean toys and video games project. So what you end up with is a, a toy like this that you can put on the, uh, a, a portal of power and that gets into the, this character into the video game. You can start playing that character, and everything is saved onto this this uh, this little character. So essentially, this is your character that you play in the game. You can take to your friend's house and play in you know cross platform kind of thing. So in the in the beginning, um, let me put you down for a second. Sit right here. So what I did was kind of hand sculpt these things. So you know just after making all these. Uh, toys and stuff, I you know, got pretty good at just kind of tinkering and making things with my hands. So this is an example of like, this is a, uh, it's made out of sculpies, just like two parts. This is like the first, um, the first Bash, the name of the character, is that he's a rock dragon. So I made molds from, from that. This is an example of the mold from, from this guy. So you can see that the mold, the the, uh, the clay sculpture fits in there perfectly. And so you end up with a mold like this. Uh, there's holes in here we pour um, plastic into and you make a cast. So then we get one of these guys, which is exactly replicating you know, this thing. So now we can have lots of this. So this was an initial prototype. And it was really great that um, to work with my hands again for work, you know, because everything's like so thorough in the in the game industry. Everything is digital. I don't draw with pencils anymore. I draw with um, a stylus. So, you know, this was enough to kind of get the project going. We made quite a few of these characters, and the first thing we found out is that we sent these in for um, for get our uh, prototype and green green light, which means you know. The, the guy with the, the, the big monies decide like whether or not to, to fund this thing. And what we found out is that we got very few of these back because the executive's kids wanted them, and that was the end of the story. So that's when we knew we, we had a hit. So, <laughs> so you can see various stages. Um, I'm going to start playing a video so you can see um, what I do for a living as far as drawing is concerned. How do I play this thing? Oh, it's going. Okay. So um, you can see I I, I design and uh, design all of these characters, and this is kind of sped up, obviously, version of um, just kind of what I do drawing wise. So as that's playing, I, I can talk a little bit more about this stuff. So. After we get our initial uh, design on drawing, I go into uh, modeling it for, for the video game and start working on that. At the same time, we start manufacturing the toys as well. And this is an example of, example of the first toy that we, that we made. And the detail isn't there, the colors are wrong, it doesn't look like metal, it's uh, too, too big and feels kind of too young. And here's the various stages of it. And so it got smaller and much tighter and added a lot more detail. And um, you can see that it gets just better and better to the point where this is our end result. This is what you buy at the store today. Um, and you can see the difference between the first and the last. So we, we go through a lot of iterations with color and how everything's kind of manufactured together. So 
you know, this all came from、um, just wanting to tinker with my hands and just want to make things. You know, ever since I was his age, I, I was taking things apart, trying to, you know, draw fa- fancy machines, characters. Everything was all all based on characters. And now I can I can say I'm a, I'm a toy maker. I got to design, you know, 30, over 30 characters,、uh, playable characters as well as the, all the enemies and everything. So it's been a really exciting project for me and a really fulfilling one because I got to use my hands and it's also you know making toys is one of those things that's just was on my you know bucket list kind of thing and you know it finally happened. So so yeah, that's that's kind of my story. Thank, Thank you. you very much. And what's your son's name? Nico. He's great. Wait, everybody.